I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand and then practice decision making pass by pass in a simulation. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do this exercise three times. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So I'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, a green dragon, a red dragon with a pair there, and then we have a west, six, eight, nine, and bams, pair six, nine dot, two, five, six, nine in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on the sixes and maybe the dragons. Six dragon. We might be able to play a three, six, nine hand. I think since we're keeping the red dragon, I'd keep the green dragon. And I'd probably keep the west just in case winds come in and pass those three. So probably a three, six, nine hand. There is an offsuit dragon hand, fourth one down, or then there's the knitted hand and we wouldn't be able to do that because we have the 6 p.m. with the red dragon. Unless of course the green dragon comes in, we might be able to make it work. So I think three, six, nine, maybe wins and dragons. Let's pass these three. We've got a three, three, six, nine. Here's a dragon and an east. We have three, six, nine, east, west dragons. There is an east and west dragon hand, but we have no flowers. Okay, so I'm thinking three, six, nine and I would just optimize that category. So I'd break this up. Let's see, probably pass the west, the red, and then this nine dot. These can probably go later. Maybe we can do knitted, let's see. Maybe we should keep these and do knitted this way. Right there, three, six, nine. We'd have to throw this though. East and west. I try not to pass two wins together and I don't think I would pass a number tile with a corresponding dragon. So I think we need to let this go. Let's see what happens. We've got a six and a three. Three, six, nine. Here's a seven, east, red. So three, six, nine, we're just gonna gather and we don't even need to look at the card. Not till we run out of discards. There's a nine. And we have tiles we can pass. Whoa, pair of flowers. It's been done. Okay, now we wanna look at our tiles here. I see three, six, 
nine with flowers. Maybe pass those. Pair of flowers, three, six, nine. Let's pass these three. Another flower. Oh, a three. Let's pass these three. Since we're close to this hand, I would risk passing that white dragon. No keepers. I'd probably pass one of each suit for optional cross. We got a six crack back. I'd, oh, and a nine. I would keep those because they're in that category, but we have two discards, options, and a hand. This, I think, went really well. I, I certainly hope no one would ever pass a pair of flowers, but it's been done to me before. We could Kong here, Kong either the three or the nine with that joker, or maybe draw. We've got our pair. I think that was a pretty good Charleston with a surprise pair in the Charleston. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with poll one. Joker, North, West, South, almost news. Three, four, and bams, five, nine in dots with a pair of fives, four, five, seven in cracks with a pair of fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the multiples. Four, five. We could do three, four, five of some kind. I wouldn't even look at the card. I would break up the wins. Although, you know what we could do? We could play four, five, news concealed. News concealed. Maybe keep the three. Let's start by passing these. We've got an East. Singles, I'd stick with it. We'll pass those. No keepers, we've got four or five. Here's a six. We need two pungs consecutive so if the fours don't come in and the sixes do, we have an option. We've got fours in BAMs. Oh my gosh, wow, look. Okay, so we have two tiles. We went right across left. I would break one of these up, the four. We can do four or five that way. No keepers. Maybe this would be a little bit better. A flower. Let's pass these three. Oh, that's kind of risky, but it's not, not as risky as passing a flower. We're gonna pass those three. Now we could do blind. This, this would be pretty risky. But we have a hand here with no gaps, and we have our singles. I think I would risk it. No, I wouldn't. No, let's do two. That's a tough one. Oh my gosh, we got nines. So I would pass two in optional. We got a lot of three, six, nine there. 
So we have a hand with no gaps, news concealed. If you would have done something different with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below and what you would do. We have a flower, green, red, white dragon, west, south, three, four, six, eight in cracks, one, three in dots, eight dot in there too, pair one. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd start here. Maybe we could play like numbers. Maybe we could play something in little odds. I think I'd let the winds go. So maybe pass these three. We've got a five and a dragon, one, three, five, dragon, one, three, five, dragon. Let's pass these three. Another dragon. Maybe we can do a year hand with dragons if we can get twos. East and west, wow, here's a one. We could maybe do like numbers with ones, but look at all these dragons. I'm taking a year hand. I would let that go. If we can get a two dot, we could maybe let that go, but we do have a hand in here with no gaps. Let's pass these three. A three and another dragon. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is not a hand. But we do have something here. Since we have no twos, I would break these up. Build around the most of your multiples. No keepers. No keepers, but I would not pass like numbers. I probably would let this go. Pass these three. No keepers, so we have four discards, joker bait, and a hand with no gaps, including our pair. This would be the fourth hand down under, oh, two pair, little odds, little odds. We have a weakness right here. We need another flower. I think that was a pretty good Charleston, but I'd say we're probably an underdog here. We've got four discards and a pair we don't need. We might be able to get a joker out of that, depending on what happens at the table, but I think that was an interesting Charleston. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull three. American Mahjong is a game of multiples, pair, pong, kong. If you have multiples in your dealt hand, start there and gather as many tiles as you can to support the multiples and play a category that uses most of your tiles. If you don't have multiples, pick a category that uses most of your tiles. During the Charleston, a multiple will usually form and then reassess, target the multiple, gather the tiles that can be used to support it, and then pick a category that uses most of your tiles. Optimize and maximize. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. 
click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.